I'm not sold on this idea that cancel culture is a thing because people, like I said, like if cancel culture were as powerful as people make it out to be, then Tucker Carlson wouldn't have a show. A lot of people would be canceled, you know, um, but like growth is important. Like, I think that there's this assumption with this cancel culture rhetoric to kind of shift gears into cancel culture that um, the left is uncompromising and they're never willing to accept growth. But that the opposite is true. Like, I totally agree with you. Like, we are pro growth. Like, if you're going to grow and change, I think that's really important. Like, Cult of Dusty is one of the best people to talk to on this. Um, I haven't talked to him yet, but he's someone who I actually, I was subscribed to him a long time ago, like in the early 2010s, but I actually unsubscribed because the content that he made, uh, he made a particular video about Black Lives Matter that I disagreed with. I thought it was a bad take. So I unsubscribed. Mm -hmm subscribed and like he's back now he's streaming and he talks about all these bad takes i had they were terrible i said this i said that and i disagree with them um and so i, I think that that's really phenomenal that's beautiful and for me if i were to go back to like the early humanist report catalog i would probably find a lot that i disagree with because the thing is that we're constant as human beings we're constantly growing and if you're not growing then i think that's bad like it nobody wants to admit that they were wrong nobody wants to back down everybody wants to be able to commend themselves for holding strong on something on a particular mm -hmm. position throughout the years but that's not realistic for everything so i think that you know encouraging growth is important um, and cancel culture, like we keep seeing it, like there's this letter from uh, Harper, the letter as it's deemed <laughs> yeah, with, you know, we name. Get into that. I saw a video from David Dole on this and he basically said everything that I wanted to. So I kind of feel like, okay, well, it's out there. It's, uh, it's in the universe. But I mean, like it's cancel culture is not really an issue. Um, it, it's more of a thing that is used in a way, I think, to ironically to silence the left, right? Because like if you criticize someone like JK Rowling, for example, what is her first defense? Oh, well, this is cancel culture. Everyone's too PC. Mm -hmm. But it's like, well, you're not canceled though. You're a, you're a billionaire in your mansion. So you're not being canceled and you're using cancel culture as a defense to shut down debate about your actions. So what is your take on cancel culture? Because I'm irritated whenever I hear the words personally. I, I think we're we're just going to be uh, this is going to be an exercise in masturbation. I guess. <laughs> I, well, no, I, I I completely agree with you. Like, I I I don't think cancel culture is a real thing. Uh, I think that like even someone like J.K. Rowling is going to even if J.K. Rowling was deplatformed off of uh, Twitter tomorrow for uh, you know hate speech uh, towards the trans community, um, she would still be a, bil a billionaire. She yeah. she could start her own Twitter tomorrow. Uh, if she wanted to, right? And I'm not even saying learn to code, but she could actually, she has the money to to start her entire social media company. Um, it, it, I, I don't think it's a real thing and I don't think it, it bears fruit in terms of like, where are the results? Can, can you give me examples of people who were canceled, right? It, it, as a part of cancel culture. Um, I, I, I like, it seems to me like people just don't want to be held accountable or they don't want to be called out for their shitty takes on Twitter. Uh, and like, by virtue of the platform, especially if you, you're a famous person, that's kind of what Twitter's going to be, you know, like, uh, I like, I don't know about you. I don't know how often you actually check all the replies to a single tweet you have, but uh, there's going to be, uh, you know, half the, half the human population probably hates you. Right. In any given oh, day, sure. right. All, all the conservatives will hate you. Right. Like all the alt writers despise me. They're constantly telling me terrible things. And, and like that, that's just the virtue of the platform. Um, yeah. That doesn't mean that I, I don't want to take information from, especially for someone like J.K. Rowling, who is getting feedback from her peers, right? From from people she worked with, like uh, what is it, Daniel Radcliffe? Right. Just came out and and just did the most beautiful, elegant little like you know you could just hear it as it is delightfully whimsical voice, you know, just just coming out <laughs> and, and and made this whole post that was that was just so lovely to see. That was just like I I'm sorry uh, that she's she's doing this, but at the same time, if you as a child uh, took anything from these, please don't ever let that leave your heart uh, i hope it, it meant to you as much as it meant to us to create it all that kind of stuff but at the same time trans women are women trans men are men and that's all there is to it right and and that i yeah i mean i mean sorry my, my long-winded answer short that uh, cancel culture is not real yeah no I, and yeah. that's that's beautifully put because i i totally agree like what i see like the discourse with regard to cancel culture for me can be like reduced down to someone getting backlash over a tweet so they say oh well i'm canceled or like if you put up a youtube video with a bad tag and it gets like majority yeah. dislikes then you say i've been canceled but mm -hmm. how because you're still here so have you really been canceled though i mean yeah. it's just it's not really a, a real thing and in the instances where someone is like legitimately canceled and they lose their career it's really rare and it usually is legitimate like louis ck like i think that that was probably a justified cancel wouldn't most people say you know what i mean so it's it's overblown and i think that really it's it's 
I don't know. It's, it's sloppy discourse. It's intellectually lazy, in my opinion. So whenever I see like hysteria about cancel culture, I mean, you can point to instances of like a viral video leading to someone losing their job. And sure, you can you can debate whether or not that's something that we want in society. But overall, what we're really talking about with cancel culture um, in terms of like the political discourse is people with large platforms, people who are on national mainstream news, people with power and money. And you're not being canceled if we criticize you. They just want to put out shitty takes and not be criticized. But I mean, that you're canceling everyone else who wants to criticize you. Let's let's use Louis as an example, because Louis, in my opinion, wasn't canceled in the same way that these people are saying they're canceled. Louis was accused uh, of women of, uh, you know, forcing them to watch him masturbate uh, and locking them in rooms to to perform those acts and then admitted to it. And and that was it. It it wasn't like this long, ongoing process where Louis said, like, the the thing with all these comedians who are like, you can't even do comedy anymore. Like, I can't even say what I want to say. I'll be canceled instantaneously, blah, blah, blah. Sure, you can do comedy. You can do – have you seen Eric Andre's new special? It's got to be one of the most offensive comedy specials in a long time. And yet it's it's still not as bad as most of these other comedians' stuff because there's a point, right? Like, what is the punchline? The same thing with, like, the really – the kind of shitty – uh, Dave Chappelle, one of my favorite comedians, probably my favorite comedian, actually, if, if, I, yeah, uh, if I'm being totally honest. Um, his, his newer special is unfortunately on Netflix, not not that good. And just mm-hmm. because it really feels like he's punching down, right? He's, he's, you know, he's attacking members of the trans community, stuff like that. And there's not really a point to the punchline at the end of the day. Uh, sorry, the punchline at the end of the day wasn't like something that is uh, actually going to be transformative. That actually makes me really think about uh, a societal issue like he used to do so beautifully. He was sublime at that, right? Um, so in the case of Louis C.K., uh, he's even though he was quote unquote canceled by which by virtue of like he admitted to doing some pretty horrifying things, he still sells no comedy clubs. He still mm-hmm. makes comedy specials. He still, if he wanted to, I'm sure he could have a special on a non Netflix esque network. I'm sure he could get on a whole bunch of other TV shows if he really wanted to, right? Like he hasn't effectively been silenced. You know, uh, how about someone like Mel Gibson? You know, Mel Gibson ha- has to be one of the most vile racists of our generation in terms of like he believes these horrifying things and is vocal about it. It's, it's not like we have to think about whether or not Mel Gibson is a piece of shit. We have it on tape, you know, you know, call, calling, uh, you know, saying you're going to get violated by a pack of N words and things like that. Right. I, I'm trying to keep it as PG. This is definitely not as bad as he put it uh, all the way to being incredibly anti-Semitic. He was nominated for an Academy Award a couple of years ago. You know, like persona non grata canceled Mel Gibson is nominated for an Academy fucking award. Roman Polanski won an Academy Award after quote unquote, like, should he not be canceled? Like he raped a 13 year old. I, th- I think that's pretty canceled. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah, and and, and I w- he- <laughs> no, I will say the people who are the most like anti cancel culture. They are cancel culture, though. Like, I I can't remember who, and I'll put it up on the screen. Megyn Kelly was railing against cancel culture previously, but all of a sudden she's tweeting at Nike and Disney because they just penned a deal with Colin Kaepernick. I mean, (laughs) what is the goal of tagging them, you know, trying to get him fired, obviously? So it's like cancel culture is a weapon that's being used disproportionately against the left. And, like, I think that you can debate the merits of cancel culture. In fact, since we're talking about this, I've got to plug the Some More News segment on this by cody johnson it's like 40 minutes but it's 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 perfect um but i mean cancel culture is being overblown and it's being used as a weapon against the left to demonize the left and it's just fucking bullshit like i'm sorry yeah no i totally agree Alpha male, not a beta male.